Gary a bit more happy this afternoon? Yeah, obviously the result's the most important thing. But I thought we got a good performance today. You know, we want, we had a game plan, worked on it all week at training, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You know, the players were in on Wednesday. We came in because Saturday, last Saturday, wasn't acceptable. So we were in on Wednesday um, and, and we worked hard. Um, and we had a game plan and the players carried it out to a, out to a tee today. You know, we... We were quite happy to give them firm in possession of the ball in certain areas of the pitch. And we wanted to see if they could break us down and, and they couldn't. You know, they had, I think Alan told me, had two saves and one of them came for a, a, a free kick. So they've only really had one shot on our goal in open play, which shows that the lads have done their defensive jobs right. And we always thought we would be dangerous on the counter-attack. There was two or three times in the first half where it just never got to the final stage where we intercepted the ball in the right area. And we were just maybe under hit the last pass or over hit it. And we spoke to the players about it at half time to say, look, you'll get more chances. Albeit we never got a real counter attack to maybe 75, 80 minutes and the ball just went under Dobbs's foot. Or 70 minutes or something. And then the next time we got it, London Great, Adam Great through ball and Josh finishes it and it's a classic counter attack goal. But, you know, we were set up to do that today. It's something that we've done a couple of times this season and it's worked. So it's good to be able to play a different way. It was a very good, solid defensive performance, didn't it? Yeah, listen, I think Dicey coming back, just his voice helped, and that's nothing against Callum Semple. I, I think it was last year I took Jason Kerr out of the team for a couple of games or a game or two games because I think they can sometimes, you can just see them starting to dip a little bit, and I just thought that was the case with Callum, and I spoke to him and he was fine with it, and I told him we'd probably need him because I wasn't really that confident that Dicey would last the 90 minutes. But I thought that helped. But I just thought everybody done their, everybody switched on defensively today and that was the biggest difference to the goals that we've conceded against East Fife and Allo in recent weeks. And the goal coming, as you say, just near the end. It's very well. difficult for Dunfilm to hit back on that. Uh, and we've seen the rest of the game quite comfortably, really. So, all in all, a good day's work. Uh, yes, we did, probably Dunfilm had, we probably had the least possession of the ball that we've had in a game this season. But possession doesn't win you games all the time, you know what I mean? And it was good for the players to, to put in a performance like that today. You said earlier in the week that you wanted to get the fundamentals right, and that happened Oh, we today. got that, yeah, and we put Josh back on the wing, and we brought David in, who... You've got to remember, David's not play, he's not really up to this... He's never started a game at this level of football. Very difficult. I thought he'd done fine for his first 75 minutes. You know, he thought he could have continued. I just made the decision 75 at that sort of pacey game was enough. But with him being in there, it allowed us to put Josh back out to the wing, where I think it is his best position. He's been playing in there over the last few weeks for a variety of reasons. But I thought him and Marsh in the first half, was they looked like the ones that were going to create the chance for us up the left. And although they never had as many chances in the second half, it was the left that we got the goal. Um, so I'm really pleased with the lads today. I've been a wee bit critical of them in recent weeks, but I can only give them praise today. It was the start of a crucial week. With I never really looked at it like that, Sandra. I know what you're saying. I looked at it, it was the end of the first quarter, and I wanted to try and get a win. I think we've matched the quarter we got for last season. It was also for people that for people that can maybe look negatively. If we hadn't won today, people would say you've no one in six, or you've only won two out of your out of your first nine league games. Now you can look and say, well, we've only lost two. You know, if you go back to the tail end of last season, the last 12 games now in the league, we've won six, drew four and lost two. That's good going. You know, that's a bit of consistency. And sometimes I think we, we can overlook that, and I'm maybe the biggest culprit of that. But the players, you know, we've played every team. I don't think there's an outstanding team in the league that's got to run away with it. I think the team that shows the most consistency um, will probably win the league. At this moment in time, Aaron Ross County have shown the most consistency, and they're at the top of the league. Are you pleased with the way the first quarter's gone then? I think we're probably about two points below where we should be. So in my mind, I think we've got two. I, I, I still think we should have beat Morton away to only get a draw. Yes, we were 2-0 doing, but we dominated that game. There's another game where we maybe got a, we gained a, we lost a point or two. But you could say last week, two weeks ago against Allo, we got a point that we didn't deserve. So... Swing the round about, trying to be honest, I think we're probably two points under where we should be. I think if we were on about 15, that's where I think we, our performances would reflect. So we'll try and make them up the next quarter. You're finishing this quarter with a win, looking to start the next one with a win against Falkirk. Yeah, another good, you know, as you say, since I've came to the club, the away performances haven't had the results. We, we, we were 
I think we've I think we've lost once at home, but there's been a couple of draws and stuff. So we want to try and get one in at our home pitch. You know, we've got two home games that'll present tough challenges, and we'll take them one at a time. I think Falkirk got beat today. I'm not sure. I think Morton beat them one 0 So they'll be wanting to try and get points back on the teams above them. They may come and sit in. Uh, give us a lot of the ball up to us to break them down I've no idea really I watched their game but as long as we defend how we've defended today I'm, I've said this I'm always confident we'll score goals when we get one chance when we get ten chances but I'm always confident we'll score and to be fair to the players in the league I think you know, I think we've had five clean sheets in nine games it's good going <laughs> um, so there's things that we need to do we can keep improving I didn't want us to have one the day and then go away and concede three next week and then two the next then a clean sheet that's now I want us to be um, and that's what I'm on about in consistency terms so I'll let the players enjoy it I'll enjoy it because as I said to you last week my weekend was spoiled I had plans Saturday night Sunday I cancelled them we were on Wednesday I had someone planning the everything because it means everything to me and the players show today it means a lot to them as well and they should be really really delighted with their performance and their commitment Falkirk coming down with a different manager but having played Ray's teams already do you expect it to be similar to well in the main when we've played against Ray's teams he's played 4-2-3-1 whether he'll do that we'll have a better report idea when Marco gets me his report and I watch his footage but generally when I've played Ray's teams he's set up 4-2-3-1 so unless he's done something different that's ex I'd expect how he would set up